Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the equation of the line passing through these two points. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So the formula for the equation of the line can be given by parametric equations. The first one being x equals x sub 1 plus at. The second one is y equals y sub 1 plus bt. Third one being z equals z sub 1 plus ct. If you're curious to where these equations come from, um, I did make a video. Just uh, search for it on my channel. It's in the Calculus 3 playlist. Um, it should be somewhere above this video. Uh, and it goes through a full derivation of how to come up with these. It's pretty, pretty interesting. So what is everything in these equations? What are these numbers? So x1, y1, and z1, this is a point on our line. So we already have that. In fact, we already have two points, so we can use either of these points and we will be good. What about A, B, and C? Those are called direction numbers. They are components of what's called the direction vector. This is a parallel vector. It's called the direction vector. And this vector is parallel to our line. Parallel to our line. So to find the equation of a line, you always need you always need just a point on the line and a parallel vector, which is called the direction vector. And the components of this vector are called direction numbers. All right, so how do we find a parallel vector? Well, these two points are on our line, so we can we can use them to create a vector, right? Say this is the last one and this is the first one, so this is the terminal minus initial. We just subtract them. Let's say this is p, and we'll say this is q and we'll form the vector pq by doing terminal minus initial. Really, really useful. So negative 3 and then minus 7, right? So subtracting, right? Terminal minus initial. q is the terminal, p is the initial. And we could have done it the other way. It doesn't matter. 0 minus negative 2, so 0 minus negative 2. And the last one being 6 minus 6. This ends up being negative 10 positive 2 and 0. So this is our direction vector. And the numbers, the components, are the direction numbers, right? So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Apologies about my voice. Uh, it's, it's coming back. I lost it a few days ago. So x is equal to, let's see. So let's take this as our x1, y1, z1. It doesn't matter which one we take. We'll just take the first one. So it'll be 7 uh, minus 10t. The next one would be um, negative 2 uh, plus 2t, because b is 2. And the last one would be z equals um, 6. Uh, and then th that's it. That's it, right, because um, it's going to be 0t. Uh, so, so we just leave it. And that would, be, that would be it. Now, you could have used this one, and you would get a different answer. But it's OK. It's the same answer. There are infinitely many different parametric equations that you can use, right, so to parametrize a line. So uh, the answer is not unique. So we could have used this as our x1, this is our y1, this is our z1. We would have gotten what seems, seems to be a different, but yet it's an equivalent uh, answer. I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you for watching. That's it.